Hi, Scott McConnell again for another EMS Horror Story Tuesday. Well, not necessarily a horror story. This is more of a story of patient advocacy. So, anonymously, this paramedic writes, Working for a transport company, we were dispatched to the ER to take a young lady home back to her residence. This young lady was uh, 97 years old and earlier in the day had fallen down two or three steps with significant bruising uh, left and right hip, lower back. You could tell she was definitely in a lot of pain, but I was reassured by the nursing staff that she had been cleared via x-ray for any C-spine, T-spine, L-spine, or hip fractures. So <clears throat> we moved the patient over to our stretcher. I got all the information, I got my face sheet, and we took this young lady home. It was a short ride, but a little bumpy, and she was in a lot of pain. Now they had given her prescriptions for uh, 600 milligram Motrins and for some Percocets. Well, we got to her house and it was an easy two or three steps into the living room and we asked this young lady where she would like us to take her. And she said, oh, right here on the couch. I don't want to go upstairs. So we helped her onto the couch and sitting and talking with her for a few minutes, I realized that she couldn't really get off of the couch by herself. She also lived by herself. And I said, where is the bathroom for you to use? And she told me it's upstairs. So I questioned her with, well, how are you gonna get your prescriptions? How are you gonna to go to the bathroom? How are you gonna do simple things like getting a shower, getting dressed, getting changed, doing laundry? She actually said, I am not sure. It hurts way, way, way too much to move. Here's where the patient advocacy part comes in. This paramedic writes, I called back to the charge nurse at the ER that we had picked this young lady up from, and I had explained everything to her. And the reply I was getting was, well, pretty much too bad. This paramedic stood up for that patient. This paramedic insisted that this patient come back to the ER because leaving her in a house by herself unable to get up off the couch, unable to go to the bathroom, get changed, get her prescriptions filled, would not be in this patient's best interest. This paramedic insisted, put the patient back on the stretcher, and took this patient back to the hospital. This paramedic also writes, later on in the evening, I followed up at the ER with what exactly happened with this patient. Here, the physicians actually determined that she was not capable of going back to her house by herself. The pain was too severe, she was too frail, so she wound up going to rehab for two weeks, getting stronger, and then being discharged back to her own house, where everything worked out well. This paramedic also goes on to write, and the young lady felt the need to write to my boss and really state that I was a patient advocate. Man, that's a great story. That's an absolute great story. Because isn't that what we are as pre-hospital practitioners? We're patient advocates, doing what's best for the patient. You know, on Thursdays we do uh, Thursday isms, uh, you know, from distance CME. And one of my favorite isms that is actually one of mine, leave the patient better than the way you found them. That's always one of my favorite ones. Hey guys, thanks for listening to this story. Hey, if you have any stories you'd like me to read, uh, online, I can either do it with your name or, of course, anonymously. Hey, send me a line, info at distancecme.com. I'll be more than happy to read your story online as well. So drop us a line, info at distancecme.com. Don't forget our tagline, take the classroom with you. Why are you still sitting in the classroom? Why are you missing time at work, using vacation time to take those much-needed continuing education courses? Do them live online with us, approved nationwide, national registry accepted because our courses are live, and the most convenient. We teach more every month than anyone else. Take a look at our September schedule, www.distancecme.com. Thank you very much.